Binaural Beats Q and A. 1. The History of Music Therapy The earliest reference to music therapy appeared in 1789 in the Columbia magazine titled Music Physically Considered. In the early 1800s, Dr. Ben Rush, a physician and psychiatrist, became a strong proponent of using music to treat medical diseases. Experts credit a Prussian meteorologist, Heinrich W. Dove, for discovering binaural beats way back in 1839. Since 1930s, binaural beats have become a popular tool. 2. A comprehensive summary. In their research paper, Tina L. Huang and Christine Sheraton summarized 20 previous peer reviewed articles on brainwave entrainment using binaural beats, the immediate psychological effects on memory, attention, stress, pain, headaches, and migraines were shown to benefit from even a single session. 3. Are binaural beats safe? The frequency of the binaural tone is equal to the difference between the frequencies of the two sine waves. There are no known side effects to listening to binaural beats, but you will want to make sure that the sound level coming through your headphones isn't set to high. Prolonged exposure to sounds at or above 85 decibels can cause hearing loss over time. 4. Who should not use? Most people have no trouble with binaural beat therapy. However, there is at least a theoretical chance of running into trouble if you have epilepsy. Also, pregnant women during the first three months of pregnancy should not use binaural beats. People with high blood pressure and fast heart rates should not use binaural beats with gamma frequency. 5. Headsets and speakers. For binaural beats to generate the third tone, we must select true stereo headsets or headphones. For wireless headphones, Bluetooth 3.0 is preferred. If we use a speaker to play monaural beats, we should use the best bass speakers. Thanks for watching. Enjoy the power of music.